80% of uh, the biodiversity on the planet exists on indigenous lands. When thinking about the connection between language and biodiversity is that it's inseparable, it's one and the same. Indigenous protected and conserved areas and guardian programs are an important tool and a, an important method to move forward to uh, save uh, spaces for animals and birds, not only for indigenous communities, but for human family, for all of us, because we, we need the, those set-asides of lands to more or less uh, be uh, carbon sinks and to uh, make sure that we have clean air to breathe and uh, clean water to drink. So it's a very important role that indigenous place-based people have in biodiversity conservation. Indigenous knowledge isn't only ancient knowledge. Indigenous knowledge is also contemporary knowledge. Pacific herring went deep and they began to be reduced in size. Our old people recognized that there was a problem and they've seen it before, that there was a biomass collapse in those fish. And so that meant that there was a warning sign to protect the herring, otherwise we would be in a dire situation because the herring also feed the, the salmon and they feed the bottom fish and they feed the creatures that come out from the forest to eat in the springtime and what we refer to as our new year. Indigenous languages carry the knowledge of, of the land, of the territory, of the places that they come from. And without language, we don't have access to our knowledge systems. And without having access to our knowledge systems, it really uh, puts a lot of pressure on Indigenous folks. Cultural diversity and biodiversity directly mirror each other. In order to conserve biodiversity, we also have to conserve cultural diversity. And a big part of that is Indigenous languages. There's um, almost certainly a, a, a direct functional connection between the two. And in a world where we're hoping to conserve uh, rapidly disappearing biological uh, diversity, it's looking more and more impossible to do that without in, um, conserving the, the linguistic and cultural diversity that probably is, is, is directly sort of um, uh, functionally connected to the nature that uh, where, it, where it exists. Young people are so immersed and involved in driving this, this need for conservation, for biodiversity protection, but also for language and cultural revitalization. So this resurgence of language and culture is going hand in hand with biodiversity uh, protection.